Nothing says summer in Montreal like food trucks, but gluten-free on the menu, not something we see too often. And while our friends are chowing down some breaded, deep-fried pulled duck confit with a jelly sauce on a soft potato bun with zero care, we're grumbling and munching on a dried protein bar. Well, guess what? There's a truck on the road and it caters just to us. So let's go see what they're serving. Meet the brains behind Le Point Sanger, Candida Presta, also known as Candy. When she first started this entirely gluten-free restaurant on wheels, she nearly quit after just a few months. <laughs> I could probably do a series on how my first year went. It was uh, disastrous. You know, I was competing with 25 other food trucks. People would pass in front of the truck, read the name, you know, think it was funny, and then realize uh, it says sans gluten. And right away they were like, oh. Thankfully, she persisted. I started running like a crazy lady after people with pieces of food tasted. After one bite, they were hooked. This is the arancini with uh, the day salad and a dipping sauce, which is pizza sauce today. Potato starch, rice flour. Gluten-free became the chef's reality seven years ago when she was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. She was forced to change her eating habits and her cooking style. There was nothing out there that was really good or good enough for me anyways. Everything was so dry and so crumbly and so tasteless. And being a chef was like, this is just crazy. There's a way to make a pancake that old or a cookie that old. That's when she started experimenting in the kitchen. When you do gluten-free, it's nice to weigh because the, the, the flours are so dense compared to regular flour. You really need to help it more. You, know, you need to cook with more love, a lot more love. And with that secret ingredient, a bit of patience and a few flops along the way, the cancer survivor soon found her calling. When I decided to do the food truck and I told my brother that I was doing a gluten-free truck, he's like, why? Just make an Italian food truck, you're gonna be rich. And I'm like, but I wanna, you know, I need a challenge. I just don't wanna make the same food like everybody else. I wanna be able to, to cater to what's needed and to also bring something new to the table, which as a, as a chef, it's really hard to do because there's, you know, it, it's become not only the gluten-free thing, but the, the cooking in general has become such a, a big thing. You know, there's cooking channels. I think there's more cooking channels there than new, news channels. But she managed to stay unique enough. And this is the tempura served on coleslaw. So it's like a healthy tempura. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to believe that. There are vegetables. And from a six-month-a-year business to full-time, she eventually opened up a small storefront in Rosemont. Friday night, we do comfort food, which is uh, burgers, uh, regular poutine, chili, fried chicken, fried chicken, that's crazy. Uh, then Saturday morning and Sunday morning, we do brunch. And Saturday night, we do pasta and pizza night. That's just for my Italian heritage. But any kind of comfort food your gluten-averse heart desires, she'll make it for you, including traditional Quebec poutine but like with most of her dishes, an Italian twist. Rugula. This one topped with a fried egg and those golden tempura cheese curds. And then I finished with olive oil because just, uh, that's another just Italian another, touch. That's another Italian touch. I just stick olive oil wherever I can. If you're a sweet tooth like me, this one is the chocolate uh, pancakes. With a special something in between. When you cut through it, you get a nice big surprise. If you can be surprised by food, it's the best kind of surprise, isn't it? Quebec maple butter, now it's gonna melt over it. And the idea of this was to make a, a sauce on the side so people put as much as they want. So as little or as much as they want. I like a lot. <laughs> there we go. Let's just watch that again, shall we? There we go. Mmm, definitely the best thing since gluten-free sliced bread. I think that that's my biggest uh, accomplishment, you know, to, to be able to help people and to help the cause. That's what I'm in it for. As a chef, to, to cook was always to make people happy. I'm making a specific group that apparently is very hard to make happy happy, which is nice. Uh, French fries with home gravy, uh, sliced hot dog, coleslaw, relish ketchup and deep fried cheese. Mmm, so good. 
Well, it's safe to say Le Point Sanger is seriously gluten-free. Thank <laughs> you.